Hey guys, this is Caroline. In this video, I'm going to assemble a 3D printer. Now, this isn't gonna be a tutorial. There are plenty of tutorials on how to assemble a 3D printer out there. Um, they estimate it takes between five and 11 hours to assemble a 3D printer. We're gonna find out today how long it takes me to assemble a 3D printer. It's gonna be a time-lapse video, and I'm also going to use my AWS IoT button. Now I showed this in a previous video how you can configure and program this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button once every time I start assembling and I'm going to every time I want to take a break I'm going to double click it so that I know that I have stopped working on it. Um, I'm going to be watching a YouTube video while I'm assembling it and there are written instructions as well. So I've got my computer and I've got my monitor out here so I can watch this YouTube video and really get this started here. So wish me luck today. I'm pressing the button right now. I'm going to start assembling a 3D printer. I have been at this for almost two hours now and I've made pretty good progress on my frame here and the y-axis motor and then these rods right here so so far so good um, I saw the review said tedious this was kind of a tedious thing I kind of understand about the tediousness now so every little um, all the acrylic there's this film on top of it and you gotta peel it off and you need really strong fingernails to do that. Now I have a little secret weapon. What I do is I've got this little uh, plastic. It's for scraping dishes or something. So I use this to help me scrape stuff off. I'm up to the part where I'm assembling uh, the, the tray here. I don't know what to call this. And, I, and, uh, and it's kind of tedious because I am trying to pull off the blue film on this tray. So I'm almost done pulling off most of the blue film on this tray and I'm gonna keep on going. So, so far so good uh, with this project. No major mishaps yet, cross your fingers. Hey, I'm back and I'm a little bit behind of where I need to be. Um, so there's this, uh, I'll show you right here, there's this plate right here and I'm supposed to put the top another plate on top of it and screw it in with the four screws unfortunately the the threading holes right here in the four corners here were not threaded properly all the way through and i think i stripped one of my screws and i had to get out extra tools and get it out and then now i'm just force threading this in and then i'm gonna put the plate back on again so that did set me back a little bit because i had to I started screwing it in and then it got stuck and then I had to get out extra tools to get the screw back out and then I had to thread it, go back in, thread it, and then come back. So uh, I'm a little bit behind. I think that set me back probably about 30 minutes to an hour or so and uh, so I'm going to just keep on going, adding the plate now and hopefully uh, I can still get this done today. another two hours an hour and a half into this beyond the last time you saw me and I I've, I've, I've put in the plate I've got the sidebars here going um, so variance from the video that I'm watching is that my unit has a connector right here and it was perfectly flat in the video and then the other part that was kind of weird was that in the video it shows um, unscrewing some really tiny screws over here and then putting in the rods and then tightening them back up again the rods were super tight to try to get into this plastic i ended up using a hammer to hammer the rods in they're perfectly tight and there are no screws for me to tighten these rods into these uh, 
x-axis rods into place so I'm not sure what's going on here uh, I'm gonna go keep on proceeding hopefully I'm not too far off right now this is just a different slightly different model than the video that I'm watching right now almost done here I am this is a little bit tedious but I'm wrapping up all the wires with this cord wrapping stuff and just doing some cable management and then I'm gonna plug everything in I'm back and I've assembled the 3d printer I haven't turned it on yet uh, but I'm, I'm getting ready to so y'all are be here hopefully this thing doesn't blow up plug this in let's see how I Add this on properly or not let's see this comes on here here it goes printer ready and I, I hear the little fan going okay that's pretty exciting all right I've stuck the SD card in here I can see it and now I'm gonna go look for a file to go print with it I just finished a two hour printing of Yoda's bust here and uh, the plate is hot and I'm going to just pull the plate forward right here so you can see this and uh, this is what Yoda's bust looks like when it is done 3D printing. This took me about two hours to print. It's about um, five centimeters tall. Everything is done in metrics in the Kira system. I'm using Kira software for this. Um, and then right here, what you see around the, the edge is called a brim, and I have it defaulted to eight millimeter brim. And what you see, these, all this extra stuff right here, you see, is called supports. Peel it off of the, the hot plate here, and the plate is quite hot, so you have to kind of be careful when you do this, if you're going to do it right after you finish the print, like I am doing. It's off, and then you see the underside, this is the, this is the brim that it sits on, and these are, this right here is the supports. So what you're supposed to do is break off, hopefully I won't break off his ear, and uh, break off the brim here. It's a tool I like to use so that came with the printer to help me break off extra pieces. Oh, there it goes, look at that. And I'll clean this up a little bit here and there, but and, and probably I should have used green filament instead of black filament, but you get the idea, guys. This is Yoda's head printed in two hours on my brand new 3D printer. You saw me assemble this printer start to finish. It took me, I would say, about six hours to assemble the whole thing. Then I had to move it over here to this corner of my office. And so that took a little bit because I had to, you know, level the table. And then I had to make sure that my uh, my printer was also level. So I used the level and then I had to adjust the the Z motor and then adjust the, the plate to be at the right uh, height. Once I did that, I was able to print the cooling ring right here and, and I did print a couple other things, but I wanted to show you uh, printing Yoda's head and the, you know, just hopefully you can see this beautiful um, design here of Yoda here. And I did download this off Thingverse and I will, uh, put a link to it below and if you want to print Yoda's head you can as well. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you later. Bye.